Now more information comes out about Quando Rondo and his trip to Los Angeles that ended up turning to the worst case scenario possible. Now Quando Rondo lost one of his best homies after being ambushed in Beverly Hills, California. Now I got more footage, more details, and more of the LA natives explaining what could have happened to Quando Rondo Friday in Los Angeles at that gas station. Now, I have some footage, you guys. Now, it shows who was actually inside the car with Quando Rondo. At first, it was reported that it was just Quando Rondo and Lil Pablo. Now, Lil Pablo was the one that passed away. Now, I have footage, and it shows that they hired a driver to take the crew around. Now, you can see in the extended footage. Now, it looks like in the picture of this actual SUV, shot up that it was Lil Pablo in the back, Quando Rondo in the back as well, and then one of their homies and then the driver. Driver's on the phone talking to somebody that you will see in the footage. Very unfortunate situation. Quando Rondo is definitely hysterical during this footage, but it comes with the life when you're in the gang life and then you're a rapper. It's just a lot of stuff that mixed together. It ultimately was the reason that this happened and it went down. Now, Quando Rondo, this is not just a beef he has in Los Angeles being affiliated with the Rolling 60s Crips. Now, just doing my research and just looking at it, he definitely has been beefing with OTF or at least taunting them to say the least. Now, keep in mind, you guys, Chicago and Atlanta, it's far when you think about how they got to get the weapons to the actual location. Far, it's not far of a flight, but it is definitely a far drive if you have to be weapons and things like that. Now, to be real, I doubt that OTF and the people in Chicago was responsible for this. But according to the people in LA, they're saying that the Chicago natives and people that come from Chicago are definitely frequent in the Los Angeles area and they are connected. Now, just back in December, Quando Rondo and Lil Pablo was on Clubhouse. Now they were dissing King Bond and Lil Varney. Now Lil Varney is a known shooter to the OTF clique. He's actually in the wheelchair now. So you can see Quando Rondo and allegedly Lil Pablo making comments on how he's in a wheelchair and he has he doesn't have his teeth and things like that roll it hey, hey, on, on hood, hey, on, like that's what you is you a middle man and that's the fact of Matt because the main gone. gone and that's the fact Matt because they main gone green chris to be to you listen teeth though yeah, I got, I got, I got, I got, I got. I don't even need a real clubhouse talking reckless. He out of his lesson. Mad chill, no, bro. No, I sent the message. But I ain't got no team. I go. How the fuck that nigga get shot in his Hey, fucking Pablo, what's to you? Why you all with my talking man? too much? <laughs> That's my shit, so with now, like I said, Lil Varney is a known shooter to OTF. Right after, of course, OTF, Lil Varney wanted to, you know, speak on the situation. Now, he went to his page and he put this. He says, no, you can't stop the rain when it pours. Long live my child homie, Quando Rondo, chin up gang. Now, right after that, a lot of people on social media felt some type of way. They felt like Lil Varney was basically dissing Quando Rondo and making fun of him and killing him with kindness. Now Lil Ronnie replied, he says, I'm not trolling, I meant what I said in the last post, we have to do better as a whole, life too short, one day you here, and the next second you can be gone, just like that, long live all of the fallen soldiers. Now, according to my sources, they're saying that it's a lot been going on behind the scenes. Now they're saying that Lil Tim, who is the right hand man of Quando Rondo, and the guy responsible for King Bond's death, has been attacked after the situation went down. Now, they say he was shot up after the King Bond incident, but of course he survived. They say Quando Rondo isn't thinking in the long game when it comes to beefing with people and being in these streets. 6 9 oh, wow. pulled up on a nigga, so I know he's been out. 6 9 caught a plane, a jet by himself. Him and his cameraman went to go see the nigga personally. The nigga was out there fucked up, bro. Okay, so let me ask Person. this. Uh so the dude who did it, right? The um, Lil that dude, little so, uh, little Tim, little, 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 little Tim. Tim, right? Okay, so little Tim. Now he okay. We he's out, right? So is he still fighting the case, or he's just he's out fighting period? the case? But yeah, they didn't okay. try to. They just hit that not too long ago. He pull it up. 
He been down there in Savannah. They went down there and saw him. Paid him a visit. Oh, they I'm missed surprised. him though. He's still alive. Damn. So that case probably is going to be going on for. Yeah, he fighting the case. Because when Six Nine pulled up on him, he had an ankle monitor. Oh, yeah. oh so that's probably why he wasn't with. It's time to go. Boy, that's probably down here in L.A. Well, out there in L.A. Nah, he was in uh, nah, he was in Savannah, Georgia. According to WAC 100, he's saying that Quando Rondo let his guard down because he thought he was protected by having an actual driver being in the back of that SUV. Now, as you can see, Quando Rondo had a face mask going through in the whole incident. So it shows that they were following Quando Rondo. I don't think it was a case of they just seen him at a location. I feel like they were following him and let them get out to actually get gas. And that's when it went down. Now, Quando Rondo's affiliates and the family to Lil Pablo has spoke out as well. Now, they went to Lil Pablo's page, Lil Pop. He says, my brother was a real one, stood on business about everything and the ones he loved. At Quando Rondo, I got you forever, cuz right or wrong. Now, the CEO of Quando Rondo and be a young boy, he posted on his social media a day after Quando Rondo's friend passed away. Now, he went on his social media and he said this. He says, I'm good. What I truly want coming to me, it might be a little minute, but it's coming. I always got what I wanted no matter what. If I pray for it or steal it, I got it. Then he also said, I'm suffering with the minutes this sad. Hashtag real wicked. So I don't know if that's something to do with Quando Rondo and down with Quando Rondo. It really boils down to NBA Youngboy versus Lil Dirk and people under them pretty much took this situation and put it on a higher level. Now, who knows what the future is going to be for Quando Rondo. Now, I know one thing's for sure. He got to get out of L.A. He can't come back to L.A. I don't think he could ever come back to L.A. If it was me, I'm not coming back to L.A. at all. It's too dangerous. Now, he got to go to Miami, Texas somewhere. I would say Atlanta, but I feel like Atlanta is too close where his ops are in Savannah. But anywhere other than Los Angeles. Let me know how you feel about that in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe, hitting the button in this video. I will catch you in the next video. Adi and signing out.